Okay, here is the Sun uh, 3160 backplane. Uh, notice the cable that's hanging down. That normally is up there to the dr drive tray. Uh, the SCSI cable, uh, there's only one set of pins that has long t uh, tails on it. It goes there and it uh, bends off to the right. Uh, notice that that cable, let's see if I can keep following it, uh, that cable gets folded over and then goes vertically up into the upper bay and it comes out as that cable. And if you do it neatly, it stays out of the way. If you don't take the time to do it neatly, it gets all messed up and it's just a pain. It, it, it's just a pain. Uh, in the bottom here, there's a plug to the uh, fan tray in the bottom of, of the workstation. Uh, if you're trying to take the fan tray out, remember to unplug that first. Uh, there is also the 20 amp uh, EMI RFI filter there. Uh, nice. Then at the top, there is the power supply. Uh, you have the, D the AC coming in at the top left. Uh, you have a fuse, a uh, manual fuse below it. To the right, you have plus 5 volts and 5 volt ground. And then below, you have the 12 volts, which is blue. You have the ground wires, which are black. And then you have uh, plus, uh, you have minus 12 and minus 5 volts. Uh, so it's a full, full fledged uh, multi voltage power supply. Uh, different, the, uh, the minus 5 and minus 12 don't have a lot of, of current capacity. And that is the uh, Sun 3160 backplane. Okay, uh, this is closing the power supply on a Sun 3160. Uh, it is a beauty of engineering. Uh, notice how the cables all sort of there, but more importantly, how this wraps around. There's a cable guard here, and then there's a bunch of cables down there that then curve around and then uh, go to the back point. So there's this big empty space that's been engineered. And when you uh, close it, you put those there. By the way, if you want to... Uh, this is the power cable that goes to the upper power supply. Uh, it actually can just flop down, to be honest. Uh, and then you close it uh, like that, and you would then pound it in. And then there are four screws that hold the, the power supply on there. And I've taken the fuse out of this puppy because uh, I think the fans have problems. Uh, but I'm not quite sure what's wrong with it, and I have a working system, so I'm going to use the working system. Okay, this is a Sun uh, 3160 uh, disc, uh, tape tray. Uh, we're seeing on the back of it two Fujitsu disk drives. These were not uh, original disk drives. Uh, Sun used other brands <coughs> in production. On top of uh, them, you see that there are these paper sheets, and that's the defect list on the disk drives themselves. And then we move around. Uh, there's the bottom. That's a, uh, that's a Fujitsu disk drive. Look at all those freaking components. And they use some large ICs, uh, some large ASICs there. Uh, this is the archive tape drive, 20 megabytes. Uh, this would have been the deluxe one which I think had, well, the first one had eight tracks, or it had four tracks, and this had nine. So 45 megabytes on a cartridge tape, if, if I recall right. Uh, and then this is the front. Uh, you insert the tape, and then this slides over to lock it in place. Um, you have uh, the, the bay, you have an interlock switch here, uh, which allows you to close it. Uh, and motor and some electronics. Then down here you have the uh, SCSI 2 
whatever adapters. The top one is an MLX SCSI to SD disk drive. And I'm looking at it and I notice that I ha don't have any data cables plugged into it, just the command cable uh, there. And then on top of it is an archive uh, SCSI to quarter inch tape adapter. Uh, and some, uh, never mind. Uh, well, some, some, some tape drive units actually have this uh, slid into the bottom of them, but that's none of, that wasn't a Sun thing. By the time Sun got to that level, there was built-in SCSI. Um, and then uh, there is a bracket that goes over here. There's a bracket that goes over the top to hold the top of the disk drives. And this whole thing slides out and there is a power connector. Let's just turn it. It's not really great for the disk drive. Uh, at the bottom, uh, notice it's all pre-wired for, uh, for lots of things. There's the power connector which connects it to the power supply. And this always gets hung up uh, and I'm amazed in my experience, I never damaged one of these cables, uh, and I'm amazed at it because it gets it gets hung up. And that is the disk drive. So it slides into the side there. Let's see if I can just do that. Uh, there is the SCSI cable coming up uh, from the back plane, and it's good.